Welcome to this Bentley Systems training video on RAM Structural System. In this video, we are going to understand more about design steel tables. Design steel tables are the tables that are actually used by the program to indicate which sizes are to be considered in the design. We can select design steel tables for our columns, beams, decks, etc. by going to the criteria tab from RAM Manager and clicking on design steel tables. You can also add new design steel tables to the tables directory as well as copy or edit existing tables. Within the deck tab, we can see the different deck tables that are currently located in the RAM table directory. These tables will have an extension of .dck. The original tables that we see here contain deck properties for commonly used decks in United States, Canada, UK and Australia. The information for these decks is only used in the design of composite beams. Under the column tab, we can select our desired design table for steel column. These tables will have an extension of .col. Design steel tables for columns and beams will not have information on the section properties, but will refer to the master steel table for such information. At the start of a design steel table for columns or beams, there can be an optional comment line indicating which master table is to be used in conjunction with it. After this line in a table of columns, the next information will be the label for a column group and the shape of the column group both in a single line. After this heading of a trial group, the members within that particular trial group are listed in ascending order by weight. Multiple trial groups are then separated by a blank line. A beam design table will have an extension of .bms. Sections within a beam design table are grouped according to group shape, like eye shape, channel, etc. But there are three different ways in which a table can instruct the program on how to consider a particular section. A slash next to any section indicates that the size is to be ignored. An asterisk sign means that the size is considered a common size, so when selecting the optimum beam size, the program investigates only the asterisk sizes when designing simple composite beams or when designing any beam when the criteria of check unbraced length is not selected. And finally, a plus sign next to a size indicates that it is to be considered in optimization, except in situations where a common size having an asterisk is considered. I currently have the original table of Australian steel beams selected here, so I will try to design the beams for gravity load considering this table by going into the beam design module. Once I'm inside the steel beam design module, I'll design all beams so that I can get the design ratios. Some warnings are being generated because of failures in certain beams, so I will view the design colors and design ratio values to see the failures. I will select level 6 to demonstrate how changes in design steel table can change the sections that can be utilized for optimization. I will select the view update button from the process menu and click on the topmost beam at grid 2. This beam is currently failing bending moment capacity criteria and has a 410 UB59 section currently assigned. If I optimize this beam, the program will choose a beam section that will rectify the failure. And this is giving me a, UB, a 460 UB67. I can click on Update Database to assign this section to the beam that is being selected. And I will be able to see the updated design ratio here. Let's say I don't want the program to consider this size at all during optimization, so I'll go back to the previous size. And what I can do now is I can edit the current beam design table or select another one that ignores this size. 
I have already created a copy of the original Australian beam table, so I will select that from the criteria menu. So I've named that as RAM AS user. To ignore the section size of 460 UB67 during optimization, I can directly edit it in the text file in RAM tables directory or go into the RAM table editor. Going into the editor, I will simply navigate to the section and ignore it, and that should make the program not consider this section during optimization. I will now go inside the steel beam design module again and try to see if the program has actually ignored the beam size of 460 UB67 for optimization. I have navigated to level 6 again and reviewed the design colors. Next I will click on the process menu and select view update. Clicking on the same beam as I did for the last optimization, I can see that the beam size of 460 UB67 is not present in this list. And when I click on the optimize button, the program selects a different size this time around, which is 460 UB74. This concludes our video on design steel tables in RAM structural system. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.